Helva, you said that they're both intelligent, at least to the level of humans. Yes. It will take some time to uh, create a mental link that would enable understood conversation, but if you give me just a moment... Done. <laughs> at any at any time, <laughs> whenever you are I like ready. this NPC. This NPC is way better than Jabraska. <laughs> ah, was that the was that the non-approved access uh, user for the last <laughs> several years? You're saying it wasn't consensual. I'm glad we killed Jabraska. Um, yes, please, you know, so you have a link to the two life forms on this level? Of course, which would you wish to speak with first? Oh, let's talk to the green one. Give me just one moment. And a helper kind of dissolves, and in front of all of you, you see the figure kind of just become that of this bald green form with sharp ears. Like, just the head, and it's like a digital recreation of it. And just kind of, eyes closed, just kind of suspended there. Hello? Any, anybody in there? Who are you? What? Oh, hi. What? My name is Morak Tuskvane. Uh, who, who are, who are you? I, I just kind of focus. Where am I? Who are you? All are of you are in a pod. Uh, in a underground research facility of some kind, in a cave, in a mountain, in old Imperial territory on Akelia. In on the planet of Oberian. Is that descriptive enough? Are they around? Is this area safe? Fine, they. The Illithids. Are you uh, referring to the Mind Flailers? The t- tall, purple people with weird tentacles on the mouth? You, you see the eyes close. <sighs> Worthless. Barely. Fucking... Yes. Well, we... There were multiple pods of them, and they've all been destroyed. We killed two earlier. Well, but there are beings um, downstairs that we don't know. We, we are unsure of the amount of them still in this facility, but on this floor you are currently safe. Release me that I may finish my hunt. Hmm, what's your hunt? Illithids. Every last one. Until their race is, be- is gone and reduced to stardust. I like this guy. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that, him. That does seem like it aligns with our goals, but in like a much darker way. Yeah. What's your name, creature? They called me Kip. Well, that's not as cool as I would have thought. <laughs> it's way less cool. Are you sure you don't want to try again? It is my name. Call me Kip. It is a warrior's name. C. <laughs> Both. Oh, shit. Okay, now this is cooler than I thought. But not where you'd expect them. No. Okay, Kip. Um, uh, can you tell us where, why are you here? I was captured during my hunt. Uh, how long ago was that? Time is blurry. How long have I, I been figured. in this, in this restraint? As long as I have known you. That is not inspiring. Do you know anything about the Empire or... Orc conflicts, or where where do you hail from? I've never seen a race like you before. 
our home is gone, taken from us. I do not know of you, but life forms such as you to find them who know, who don't know their place in the universe is not uncommon. Release me so that I may continue my hunt. Um, what, what would you do once you have, um, turn the entire race to stardust through your hunting like what would happen afterward like would you not destroy any other races if I have the chance to strike the final blow against them then I may fall on my sword and rejoin my ancestors once it is done this dude's pretty metal. I guess that one would, would insight check that. Sorry, I'm kind of cooking. No, no, you're good. Um, I, I don't know. That's so intense. I think what we get is intensity. Six. That's just pretty That's intense, pretty. and you kind of like his intensity. <laughs> Arnold kind of perk up. Just kind of like perk up from uh, whatever he was eating and just go, oh, oh guys, I just remember something. I've seen this type of creature before. What? What? Sorry, I was I was really hungry. Um, why don't we? We just saw like, him I, yesterday. I was really really hungry. He's naked in a pod over there. Where is my armor? Look, I got distracted by the size of his unit. All right, I was impressed. You have some problems. What the? Come here! Come on! Come along, My come along. Oh, I'm going to. I'm complicated oh. enough. Could you repeat I'm that, Mary? Like... Oh, I, I said more. I can tell if this is already complicated enough. Can you say that again? Just the the tentacles very loud. Uh, sorry. Just never mind. It wasn't important. All right. Well, now I want to know. Byron, please explain where you've seen these before. Um, can can we step away from them? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to, uh, say, uh, well, uh, we'll see what we can do for you, Kip, and, uh, I'm gonna, like, you know, like, tell, uh, just tell, help her to, like, cut the connection for now. Yeah, uh, if Morang disconnects from the computer, does help her go away? Uh, yes. Okay, well, she's off now. I'm sure that Kip won't appreciate that. Going into a tunnel, Kip. Sorry. Gonna lose you. Okay, Byron, please explain. Um, so you know about my, uh, old work, uh, let's go with acquaintance, the Dust Dragon? Yes. Um, he's had several of that exact species, um, work for him on multiple occasions. What are they called? Oh, Dusk Dragon, what are they called? Gith. Gith. They're called Gith, I believe. Interesting. If I remember correctly, didn't I see one stab that brain, and that's what caused the weave to break? Was it that, or was it an elf? Uh, it was an elf that saw the weave to break. You did see a Gith specifically attacking an Ill a Mind Flailer. You just, um, you just didn't know yeah. what they were at the time. Um, yeah, I, I, it makes sense that Kip here wants to kill the Mind Flayers, or the Illithid, whatever the hell he calls it. Because, uh, I think... Obviously we know that the Mind Flayers, they work for the Dawn Dragon. We've, we've established this. I think they work pretty closely with the Dusk Dragon. They're like in a constant, everlasting cosmic conflict, trying to equally destroy or enslave each other. So... Yeah, I just figured I'd share that information just to kind of like, you know, inform the decision to whether or not we let Kip out. Um, no, I think that's useful because I know we've been wanting to destroy this thing because it's only ever caused in our mind, like, harm and danger, but somehow that seems on a different level than, like, wanting to hunt down and destroy a whole race. Um, so... Genocide's pretty bad, generally. Right, yeah. To be oh, fair, are right. they, the Illithid are a little bad. 
True, but like if Illithid are to you know the uh, the Dust Dragon as Gith are to the Dawn or no fuck a couple mix. Illithid are to the Dawn Dragon what Gith are to the Dust Dragon. They're both about equally bad for us. Because I can tell you, well, Dust Dragon no bueno. In that case, it sounds like no matter which one of them dies, it's good for us, right? Well, really, I I I don't know. I mean, I figure if we're here to kill all the illithid things, then, uh, you know, if the gith is dust dragon illithid, then uh, it's only fair that we do both. That's where I'm leaning. Kill him? No! No! He's... He's like a conscious being. You can't just kill him because... I mean, obviously so have been the illithid that we've killed. They're capable of significantly more advanced shit than I've ever seen. That probably and, means you know, we can talk to. You, you haven't talked to them like I have. The well, we've also killed a lot of people who are conscious beings, but we never really had any moral quandaries about that. Well, the maybe other... we should talk to the other being. I mean, that's fair. May as well get information. Yeah. All right, helper. I do, um, if, if the worst thing we do is not really hit, we don't kill him, like, maybe it's best we can do with the options we have. You know yeah, what? I, I guess mean, we would kill him if we destroyed the whole place. So, never mind. Not even yeah, an option. Yeah, I was going to say. Mm. He has been doing fine down here for 30 years. And he didn't even have to fuck a box. <laughs> I would say we don't know anything about him besides what he's told us. I mean, why we have literally no reason to trust him. We're just assuming that he's working for the Dusk Dragon, and we don't even know. Well, yeah, true. The assumption is strong, but I mean... Well, I mean, it's like, if all I know is that you used to work for the Dust Dragon, so should I assume that all humans work for the Dust Dragon? It's fair. No, but, uh, like, the main races that I saw working for the Dust Dragon were that, and elves. Yes. And I fears. And I think a few orcs, too, if I remember correctly. So everybody works for them. Yeah, pretty I don't much. think it's necessarily tied to a race, or at least not so tightly. Yeah, Every I don't know. Elf worships the Dusk Dragon. No? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being xenophobic. I mean, I, I think know. this doesn't even need to particularly be our problem. I just figured I'd give like, you guys the information. I'll, I'll let you make the decision. I don't think we should let him out, but I don't think it's because of his goals. I think it's because we know literally nothing about him, and he may be a actual threat to us. Yeah. To be fair, if you were in cryo sleep for, uh, like, unwillingly for who knows how long, and you were woken up, the first thing you would probably be asked is, like, like, hey, please let me out of here. You know, funny you should say that. I did have a very similar experience. <laughs> well, and I, I agree with you, Sonny, that, um, Letting him out right now, I'm hesitant of. But at some point down the road, it seems like we'll need to decide if we let him out so that he doesn't die when we collapse this thing. That sounds like a bridge we should burn later. I agree. I'm Fair. I'm kind of a little worn out on deciding the fate of things we don't really understand. We're going to forget about Same him, aren't here. we? No. Uh, no. I will not <laughs> about who? forget about the cool ass space elf in the cryostasis pod, Kezia. Wait, it's really he... cool. Hang His on. name's Gip. With a C and a K. He's the coolest <laughs> person we've met for months. 